So hey everyone, um, back again here at ESC Plus. This is Jody. I am here today to talk about the OGAE Second Chance Contest. And basically, for those of you that don't know what this is, the OGAE clubs are the fan clubs for Eurovision um, that are, you know, each country has their own fan club. And what they do after each Eurovision is they will nominate a song that was not sent to Eurovision during the country's national final selection to this contest in which every uh, club is going to vote on a winner. And uh, it's kind of a second chance for that song, uh, hence the name. So um, this year it's being hosted by the OGAE Italy Club, which I am a member of. So I am very excited um, to, to uh, talk about this today. What uh, OGAE Italy has just done is they've just announced the actual running order and how the songs will be presented um, at during the, the voting process. Um, there, it's, it's a visual event. It's, it's um, You can stream the, the, the uh, contest on YouTube in which a presentation of all the points will be awarded. Um, and what I want to do is just run through the songs that were nominated by each of the clubs to, to compete and uh, give you a little, few thoughts on, on each of those and then encourage people who are members of their OGAE branch to make sure that they go out and vote and pick, and tune in to the contest being hosted in Italy uh, later this summer. Um, so more on that later, but I'm just gonna tee up the video here of the recap of the songs. Um, now, Italy is hosting this year because last year, it was won by Italy, and it was won by Annalisa, which many of you may have remembered. So from Albania, we have Mirid with an NA. Now, this is a great performance. I know a lot of people like the look of him. I forgot that he was barefoot for that. Ah, oh, Spain, Maria, we know she didn't want to go to uh, Eurovision so much, but she'll be, she'll be relieved to know she doesn't have to go anywhere for the second chance one. Still a great song. Anna for Sweden, you know, this. I love this song. I thought it was going to do a lot better. I'm really happy for her that she's back in the conversation. Um, Ukraine, of course, we know what happened in Ukraine, but Kaska are a great, great popular act in Ukraine, and I'd really like to hear more from them, so I'm glad that they're, they're getting attention here. All right, Hungary, you know what? Hungary, I don't... This song should have won. <laughs> in my opinion, I was rooting so hard for Middleton. I loved it. Ah, uh, so friends, Simone, beautiful, beautiful song. Um, a lot of people thought this was going to win. It was actually a surprise that Bilal pulled it out. This is actually potentially a winner for OJ Second Chance. So for Iceland, we have Friedrich. Um, this would have been a bit of a contrast from what we got from Atari, don't you think? So, um, yeah, that's what I can say about that. Norway. I love you, Norway. Um, Moreland, this is such a great performance, such a great song. But it's not Adrian, alright? Germany, same thing. This was a heartbreaker for me. Ali Ryan, great, great, powerful bop. Now, Slovenia, this is like, I love this because it reminds me of the Ukrainian song, uh, uh, Cupid, Cupid, Cupid Jazz, I can't remember the name of it now. Um, and here we go, Australia. The things that could have been with Australia, but you know, I felt like the, the song lost a little bit in the live performance here for them. I wonder if that is why they didn't actually win, but still love that track. Portugal is really surprising with what they they put together this year. Like, this is a very, very much an avant-garde performance and song. I'm kind of digging it. Alright, if you love Lionel Dere and you have not listened to Barbara by now, you really need to just stop this video and go find her. This is my jam. Love it. Uh, Serbia is another great national final. I enjoyed this so much. This would have done just as well as Davina as far as I can turn. Very authentic vibe. All right, Finland, we know that they're changing their UMK strategy next year, and I'm glad. Three Zerud songs was a, was a tough one. Um, Sounds Miller Grand Prix. Julia and Mina are so lovely. I, 
I, I love him so much. I would have loved to see him in Tel Aviv. The staging let them down, I think, here at Don't Really Run Free. Oh my god, Bella. As much as I love Esther, I also love Bella, and... If anybody knows Emily DeForest, can you please find out how she gave this song zero points? Um, Sonia. This was a real fun number, uh, Inga Milenekov. I was jamming out to it, I didn't understand a word she was saying, but... Oh, Carrie Ann, another heartbreaker. I mean, she, she could have probably done better than Michael anything. She was not saying much, but... I was I was jammed to this song. I'm, I'm a fan. Croatia, you know, Tower of Babylon is like this old school Eurovision number. I thought it was going to do great. I'm I was really surprised that it didn't manage to uh, win Dora. And here we are with Lithuania and Monica, and I don't know how many did she have 18 songs in the competition this year or something. Like that? But um, she ended up not winning to jury. But this was a very very well put together song. Moldova. Now this is a um, kind of the favorite to win, um, actually, and it was sort of a surprise that Anna pulled it out. But ah, oh, Edgar's another great song. Supernova could have chosen him, right? He's been in the contest now at least twice, maybe three times. Now well, Italy. They've gone with El Volo for their choice for second chance. I. I would have chosen Loredana, I'll be, be honest, but I love El Volo and I love OGA Italy and I love this idea of the second chance contest where people get a chance to, you know, see their favorites that didn't make it to Eurovision and celebrate them a little bit. So, like I said, if you're a member of OGAE, take a wander over to your website, check out the songs, maybe you can vote, and then stick back with us for details on when the winners will be announced and when the contest will air. Thanks for watching.